Hello everyone, and for episode three, we will focus on symmetry as the essential must-have for interior design. So symmetry creates balance, and balance in design creates harmony and uniformity. So that's why it's so important in design is for you to have symmetrical moments throughout your space to create harmony and ease. No one wants a frenetic, crazy, insane, um, home environment and so part of like clutter and disorganization and all of those things sort of creates a grand central station Times square effect in your home and you really want your home to be soothing calm and effortless and easy and balance and symmetry creates a visual rest you may be wondering um eric how do I create symmetry? What does symmetry look like? And I have a really great example of that. I'm obsessed with the Apple store. I shop Apple often. I'm an Apple user, but even if you aren't, I'm sure you've been into an Apple store or went past an Apple store. And if you witnessed one or been in one, have you ever wondered why it just feels very comfortable? Even though it may be full of people and there may be a lot of energy in the space, um, Apple stores are the most symmetrical retailed designed environments in the marketplace. Um, they are so conscious of the importance of balance and symmetry that they even waste real estate. Meaning that when they purchase um, or rent out a space, they will actually have um, square footage that isn't used in order to create the perfect um, spatial box that is symmetrical and balanced. And the reason why they do that is because they recognize that their customers really subconsciously need that balance and harmony in order to feel at ease in the environment. And just the exact box itself, meaning the retail space is square, and then how they place all of their product and tables, everything is evenly spaced and symmetrical. So your focus is less on about less about the architecture, and it's really less about all of the furniture, and it's less about the lightings, and it's more about the actual product which is important to them. So when you think about your home, it's really less about all of the furniture pieces and all of the decor, and it's more about you experiencing and enjoying the environment. It's about you utilizing your home to be able to enjoy time with your family or to be able to celebrate or to relax. So symmetry creates a sense of harmony and neutralizes all of the noise in your home so that you can actually appreciate what it's there for, which is to make you happy. So personally, I am an advocate and lover of symmetry. Um, those who have worked with me professionally know that symmetry and balance is something that um, I constantly communicate and it's a tip and a tool that we've used in my industry for many, many years. But personally, in my own home, um, I have symmetry in a few different places. So one in my living room, which is the most important part of my home. Um, my two guest chairs, which are on the left and the right of my coffee table, which features my curated assortment, guys. Remember that was, that was episode number two. It's the curated assortment of um, my coffee table books. On the left and the right of the coffee table books are symmetrically placed chairs for my guest. And that really creates a really harmonious, comfortable zone for us to be able to socialize, engage, chat, and talk. And then um, I li live a very busy life. And for me, my bedroom is like one of the most important places for me. Um, I love to relax because I don't get a chance to do it much. And so um, my bedroom has tons of symmetrical moments from two end tables on the left and the right of my bed that are the exact same height. On those end tables, I actually have two lamps that are at the exact same height and the exact same finish sitting across from my bed. Flanking my dresser are two um, prints that are the exact same height and size as well as frame. And all of that to me creates a very um, symmetrical and harmonious and relaxing environment. And I really do believe that part of that symmetry, especially in my room, um, makes it a safe haven and it also makes it one 
one of the places that um, I long for after a very long, busy day and also after a um, really heavy travel schedule. So that symmetry and balance allows for my heart and my emotions and all of the things that happen to me throughout the day to just relax and be at peace. So now that you know why symmetry is important, let's talk about the three different types of symmetry. The first one is reflection. The second one is translational. And the third and final is rotational. So there are three types of symmetry that you can introduce into your home. The first one is reflection. Reflection symmetry creates a mirror effect. So if you think about twins, or if you think about when you look in a mirror and you see a reflection or a duplication of yourself, that is what reflection symmetry is. It's about having pairs. So two of the exact same item at the exact same scale at the exact same placement on opposite sides of one another. So if you were to take two items and you were to collapse them together, they would actually be a mirror image and butt up against one another. So that is mirror reflection. So the next type of symmetry is translational. And translational, simply put, is about the graduation or the escalation of scale when you have an item. So if you think about something that is one inch, graduating to an inch and a half, then graduating to two inches, then graduating to three inches and four inches. So it is the escalation or graduation of scale of an exact same item. That is translational symmetry. And usually that works great on a diagonal um, so that you can actually get credit for the scale variation. That works really well for things like trophies, guitars, instruments, even shoes as well. So if you think about something like a flip-flop versus a sneaker versus a pump to a boot, that's translational symmetry. Third and final type of symmetry is rotation symmetry. And simply put, that is if you think about the globe, it is having a center focal point and then orbiting your other items around it. That is rotational symmetry. So it's creating a focal point, placing something in that focal point, and then identifying items that are equal scale and scope and then radiating that around it. That creates rotational symmetry. And this is really good for things like if you have plate displays or tray displays that are similar um, size and scale, but that are often either oval or round shaped, rotational symmetry is a great way to display those items. So out of the three types of symmetry, which are rotational, translational, and reflective, Personally, I am a lover of reflective. It's the most commonly used, it's classic, it's simple, it's timeless, it's easy to implement, and um, it works well for my aesthetic and, and, and my personality. So I'm sure seeing this video, as well as looking at HDTV and all of the various magazines that are related to home and design and catalogs that you know and love, you feel a lot of pressure. You probably feel like one, you don't know where to start, and two, you're probably too late to the race. Um, my recommendation and sound and solid advice, and I can, I'm telling you this honestly, is wait. Do not feel pressured at all by this design community or the retail community to get you to rush to buy product or buy furniture or buy things without you knowing what your taste is, knowing what you love or like, and feeling comfortable and confident to make that first step. However, when you do decide to purchase and when you do decide to decorate, and you want to introduce symmetry and balance, my recommendation is for you to start in your living room. It is the easiest and the best way and the first way that I would recommend for you to introduce symmetry. It's a very commonly used environment 
And if you introduce symmetry using light fixtures, it's something that is not only practical and functional, it can be decorative, and it's something that you will interact with on a regular basis, making it something that is purposeful too. So don't rush to decorate because the industry is saying it. Do it after you have watched all the videos and you've also developed and identified what your taste is. And then when you take that first step to decorating and styling your home in a way that's authentic to you and you want to introduce symmetry, start and test it in your living room using light fixtures. It's the easiest way to introduce symmetry and trust me, you will appreciate it.